Now, hello there. If you're joining us today, welcome. I don't normally do these, but <coughs> I just noticed the general chat down below. Um, while I was making my rant video, if you haven't seen my rant video, or maybe you're coming from there, people, there were a few people that were like, there's not enough resources to, to teach people how to play the game. Well, and then there's other people that are like, well, the answer is just to get good, but that's not fair. Well, then, you've been in the right place, because I'm here to give you a class on how to get better. Smile. So this is a 2490 Rhine. Now, if you're sitting there at home and you're like, but I'm a diamond Rhine. Well, there, sir, or madam, or they, or anyone, chat. This will still apply to you. Because I guarantee there's mistakes this person will make that you make as well. Because even I, as a as a 45, almost been 46 multiple times, I just can't break the goddamn ceiling. I keep getting stuck. And, and I know it's my my fault. But there's the mistakes that I make. So, don't click off just because they might be lower than you. And don't click off because they might be higher than you. You'll still learn. And if you do click off, you're never allowed to comment on anything ever again that you can't climb and there's smurfs in your games keeping you down because you now have the resources to get better. Here it is, Gibraltar, Reinhardt. Here's the thing, I'm gonna tell you right now, you are playing Reinhardt on a very not Reinhardt type of map. It has not been a Reinhardt map ever. Now here's the key for you to play Reinhardt on this map. You wanna know the key? You do not play it the way you think you have to play it. The first thing I'm going to tell you right now is you're not going to play this the way you should play it because you're going to play it the way you think you should play it. And that might sound dumb because it sounds dumb even after I said it. But the reason it sounds dumb is because you're going to play it very frontline, forward, back, linear. When you play a map like Gibraltar, which is a very 3D type of map, which high ground is very important, low ground becomes important depending on pushing the cart or not. You can't play this walking to the cart, walking in front of your Zarya, shield, then swing, then shield, because they are just going to sit back. You can already see, for just now, like we can see it, they're going to have a Zen, they're going to have a Winston, they're going to have an Ash. You're not going to get close to anyone on their team. You got to think outside the box. What did I, when I started, when I was forcing Ryan on Gibraltar back in Ryan Diva meta, I pinned out a spawn, I went up these stairs, and I went up here. There's actually lots of clips on Noob Hunter of me starting over here on defense and pinning across and getting kills. Chat, can someone grab one for me? Because we got one on PS4 the other day. If you can, that would be very helpful, and we can show it later on in the review. Thank you. Let's get started. Good block on the Ananade. Honestly, now. This is, we're already seeing the issue. You're going to play this very traditional and hold forward and hold shield. This is incorrect. What you need to do is one of two things. Once you get to this corner right here, you have to decide, okay, we're not playing this normal. The first things first is your fire strike, alt charge. You should be trying to build it as fast as you can at all times. Coming out of spawn here, you immediately go to shield around the corner. You're worried about someone getting one shot. If they get if they get two tapped, I'm sorry, Together, that's on them. That's not on you. Got any rea tips for a new player? Go f yourself. Thank you so much for the five, my dude. I hate you. Anyways, <laughs> now someone's gonna be watching the video and they're gonna be like, "That dude's f rude as f because Retro didn't put the beginning in when we just had that conversation, so they're not gonna understand the reference." God damn, dude, you did not just at me and ask for Ryan tips for a new Ryan player when someone literally in chat is about to get a review of their Reinhardt play on f stream. Anyways, who do they have on their team that now you see? They have an Ash and a Zen, the only two people that could one-tap someone on your team right now. Ash can't because she doesn't have a Mercy Pocket, and even if she did have a Mercy Pocket, could, couldn't. Zen can get a nice right click. Other than that, you're just hard shielding. You should be going for fire strikes early. You should be at at least six to 12% ult charge. Try to hit one person, hit this Winston, hit something. Build your ult faster. Do not be a shield bot. Swing for the fences. Build your ult. Overwatch is a game about doing damage to the enemy team. It is not about you shielding. Shielding is under overrated. Shield breaks on cooldown. Shield is not meant to be there to hold all day long. What I would have done is I would have went up the stairs here instead of went to the cart. 
you can go to the cart to the corner, and then once it's on the corner, let your Zarya push it, let your Ana push it, let someone else push it. You go up the stairs and get close to their team. Make them fear you, make them look at you. And then if you start to get scared, your shield gets low, drop down off the high ground, and all of a sudden you're safe again. You see where you are right now? You could have easily, you can easily go up these stairs, force out this Winston, and that's fine. You're not going to probably get much done. You'll probably get a nice fire strike, get a nice fire strike, maybe get a swing or two, get low on your shield, drop down immediately out of out of line of sight, and you're still fine. You won't die. I promise you, it will not happen. Like I said, you cannot play this traditionally because you're not playing on a traditional map. Just very small things. I'm not really sure why we go check the the mega. There's no one plays the mega in the beginning of that. Think always think about what would you do if you were on defense. That should always be going through your mind at all times. The reason that no matter what hero you play, because let's say you're playing Widowmaker, think about where you would play on defense on Widowmaker. That's probably one of the first spots that their Widowmaker will be. Right? It's how you can pre-aim there. So you don't have to make a big flick to adjust. You get you know where they are ahead of time. Same thing with Zens that play blue box. Same with Zens and Anas that play the back, um, the the back ramp up here. Same thing. Always remember where you would play and think about that as you play. So they drop down on you. Let's actually back up a little bit. The reason I say that is because just kind of like oh I just. It's small little things, but they're just like, there's no reason to do it. They drop down on you. That's very interesting. Kill this Zarya. This Zarya should go boom boom. Okay. I'm okay with the decision to go for the Winston. However, though, there's one big problem. When you're playing Rhine like this on a map that Rhine isn't very good, you didn't contest high ground. You didn't make them use any resources. You making them not use any resources... How do I get back into first person? You're not using making them use any resources. Made it so they could drop on you free. So you're going to get separated from your Ana. Your Ana is likely going to die this fight. Whoever is in there, the Zarya, and you will probably kill the Winston. And then you're either going to barely survive or die. Because of the initial contest was not there, you didn't create space. You've given space. I sound crazy, but when I talk about that long-winded part of the beginning, it sets up so this doesn't happen. And there's Zarya makes a pretty big mistake, but she has self bubble still. Okay, your Ana actually did die. I actually didn't see that. Your Ana died, <coughs> and your... Wait, no, actually, no, they didn't. That was their Ana. Your, your a Echo's fragging. Pog. You died. You got that one right. Although your Echo, your Echo pocketed is absolutely carried you that fight. I'm going to be honest with you. You win that fight. You're going to get rezzed. But let's be honest with ourselves. I don't think that you had a name back there. Okay. So what are you going to do here? Think about it. Think about what you do here. Reinhardt is very good up close. He's very good at controlling chokes and corners. That's why it's good on King's Row. That's why it was good on Eichenwald, third and first. What are you looking at here? Well, my guess is you're going to sit on cart and try to push it in. When in reality, you should go up to this corner and deny them from even having another touch. Oh, here we go. You're actually doing it. But are you doing it for the same reason? That's the question. Mark. Sort of. Sort of. Very good. Very good. And that shouldn't be, that shouldn't, it should be faster, 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 faster. Because this is, this is gold, right? This is $24.99. As you climb higher, the chance to make that decision from. Wait for the res. The chance to make that decision from. Here, until right there is much faster. It took you until this moment to make that decision. You needed to make that decision once you saw the kill feed and you saw where your team was. Quick, quick, quick. But the important thing is it was the right decision. That is good. 
there's a few things that I that I talk about that that apply to everything. You ever notice? You ever notice? And I hate to say it. You ever notice how some of the really best DPS players have the ego of like absolutely inflated like balloons? They have egos that are ab absurdly huge. It kind of transfers because they're confident. And every time they make a decision, they think it's the right one. Right? Part of that is they don't hesitate. They just act. And the point of just acting is good because it cuts down your reaction time for starters. Second off, if you make the wrong decision, you will end up either being right or wrong. Right, it work goes well. Wrong, you get punished and you will learn that you made the wrong decision and you'll learn it for next time. But when you learn, you'll learn at an accelerated rate because you will be you will instinctually start to learn that that is a better decision instead of sitting there and thinking about it. Does that make sense, chat? The confidence is not only in their play, but in their decision making. If you make it confident, you make it fast. Fast buys you time. Time. Over okay. Overwatch is in a lot of ways is like football. Football is described as a game of inches. You fight for inches all the time. Overwatch is the same thing. You fight for inches. How do you make sure you get that extra inch on them? Time. Because if I beat someone to the punch and I just barely grab the corner before them, then they have to heart fight twice as hard to push me out of it right so like let's say right back there on that example this is a great example of it great example you beat their <coughs> their ryan to the punch of getting to this corner now he could have pinned out a spawn and made it right here there's a rollout you can do if he was here faster he could have pushed you out but instead he had to fight his way out the Ana comes out it's too late because you've already grained the advantage. Their Zarya can't bubble in time. And they're pushed back out. Inches, seconds, milliseconds. It's what Overwatch is. Be confident. Make your decisions. Whether you're right or you're wrong, you will learn. Also, your team's getting fragged right now. Regardless of your team getting fragged, that was the right decision. Why? Because now look at that. You did your job. That Ryan's back again. And guess what? He's going right the back to spawn. Now be confident. You know that you killed their Ryan. Who did you kill after the Ryan? The, the Zarya and the Ana. You just saw them. Don't you sit there and be a beta bitch. I want you to go kill them or at least push them out. Fight for them to leave. Make them fight to live. Do not let them walk for free. You're sitting back looking for your team. The cart doesn't matter. Leave the cart there. Someone else will get it for now. You have four people coming back from spawn. I'm sure they can get it. Hi. You earned the right to stay alive and to push forward. Go for it. Make them be afraid of you. Do not sit there. You're looking around waiting for support, waiting for support, waiting for support. No. Go forward. You even saw the bubble. You even saw the bubble. You see it? You just saw it. You just saw it for a split second. Wasted time. You haven't made a decision. You're wasting time looking around and now the opportunity is lost. This is a very... Now you're lucky they went Ryan too. Because if they didn't go Ryan, this is where you really get stuck if you don't think about the map in a 3D sense. Even if you do think in a 3D sense, you'll still get stuck. But it at least will give you a better chance. But luckily, this is going to be a very mirror matchup. Ryan v. Ryan, walk up to each other, swing, swing, look for shatter, look for grav, look for abilities. Okay. Positionally, this was a very bad, very, very bad engagement. Let's look at why. What do you see when you look at this point? What do you see? First off, you haven't taken space. You are literally... the. You are... Dude, listen, if I could put an attachment on the front of the cart 
and put a chair on it, that's where you'd be sitting. You'd f***ing sit your ass in that chair the whole way, huh? You wouldn't go up to try to get kills, try to take space. You'd be sitting in that thing like it's the porcelain throne. Why is that the problem? What do you see here? What did we talk about before, chat? Where is Ryan good? Pop quiz. Corners up close. You guys are you guys are nailing it. What is this? This is a corner. This is up close. So you let their Ryan take the space. So now he's already taken it. Now your side is still positionally better than his because for him to back up, he has to back up and around. For you to back up, you just go this way. Positionally, you're in a worse spot, but you put you made it that. Not the map. You made it that. Now this is where it's gonna become real fucking bad. You don't play this corner, you fly over here. Now why do you fly over there? Well, because you walked out here, you jumped and got caught by the Ryan's swing. Ryan's hammer does move you <coughs> in the direction that the swing goes. So you get thrown to this side. You're gonna probably live, probably, but you're basically useless for the rest of this fight until you get super support help. Bad engage. All. Oh. Your echo is here to bail you out. I don't know why you don't pin him there. I'm confused on why you don't pin him. So grab the way grab works is very similar to old shatter where you could get a swing swing fire strike. Why not get a swing swing pin on this grab? So you get 85, 85, 300. And with your other echo there, with your echo there, <coughs> If it's done right, even with him being pumped full of heals, you might be able to kill him. To me, that tells me more than anything, just kind of being afraid. I know your health pool is at full, but it doesn't need to be. He's getting damage boosted too. Especially with him, uh, especially with him nanoed, I wouldn't be afraid. Can't be afraid. Once you pinned him though, then I'd back off. I'm gonna be honest. Let's see what, let's see it play out. Your echo hits the big slam. I'd be very weary of a return shatter. You blocked it. Your echo hits another one, but you died. Okay. What went wrong here? What went wrong? What would you say went wrong, chat? Well, what do I see? <clears throat> what I see, chat, is you miss the opportunity to kill the Ryan here or have a chance to kill him. A chance to kill him. They use Nano and Trank. Once that Trank comes out, you are fully in defense mode because it's a ran Nano Ryan, fully in Nano Ryan and a Trank. You ain't killing nobody. So what the mistake you end up making is actually getting aggressive here and you let your health pool get chunked. Sorry, I keep double clicking. You let your health pool get chunked to 170 against the Nano Ryan at close range. And then they pop the grab. You're just dead. They pop blade too, so they, they over ult. But I think you could have turned that fight. I think you could have turned that fight if you played that right. However, though, you'll win the next one, likely because they just used all their ults. What I'm trying to teach you there, because you might be like, Flats, but but like, oh, like there was a lot of ults there, you know, like they'll just win the next one. What I'm trying to teach you though is the habits. Because the Rhine getting nanoed. Even if that Ryan got nanoed, if you do swing swing with with damage boost, so you're you're actually doing 130 damage, plus the pin, which damage boosted pin what does what like, I don't know the math on that one chat. Is it like 330, 360, something like that? Do the pin. The Ryan gets close to half HP, close to half HP, because he's nanoed because he only takes half your damage. Plus your echo's swinging on him too. So that would have took him out of the fight. So that would have been a free shatter. They wouldn't have had to hit the lucky shatter. But two, most rides, especially in this rank, because you did it. Did you notice when your health pool got below half or close to half, you hard shield are like, please don't hurt me. If you've ever watched me play, I constantly live on the edge of death. Constantly live on the edge of death. And it was funny. For those who were there last week, we were playing Car Hugo in a game with us, and he goes, Flats, oh my god, you're just constantly critical. We used to duo queue 
And so I laughed and I was like, don't you miss the heart attacks? And he's like, dude, you're always one HP, but I was never dead. I'm one HP, but I'm not dead, which means I'm pushing the limit as far as I can go. In this rank, I think that you making a play on them would have forced them to retreat much more than attack. Then the trank comes out and then you're in full retreat. Certain things happen in succession that change the game plan. The game plan should have went from attack, attack, attack to back off, back off, back off. What ended up happening was back off, back off, back off, attack, 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 which was the opposite of what should have happened. Gold supports can't sustain him like that. That is absolutely false. I have, if there's, and my PlayStation games this week have taught me anything, is that the Thank low you. rank players, stares at the abyss and, and especially support players, stare at their tanks more than anything else. Mercies will heal bot on a tank instead of damage boosting DPS. Anna's or Baps will sit behind their Rhine with their gun just jammed up his as hard as it can go and it doesn't matter who else is low it doesn't matter if mercy's one genji's two hp in the back kree's on the flank with high noon waiting for nano uh-uh the only person who's getting any heals is that reinhardt in front of them that is a mistake that the support player makes but don't sit there and tell me that they will not heal you. The only time they will not heal you is if they're trying to balance everything because they'll fail at it. But more times than not, I've noticed that they will default heal tanks. So don't use that as an excuse because that is a mental block in my opinion. Because in my experience, that's not how it works. I could be wrong, but I'm telling you from my experience. Okay. So the big mistake here, <coughs> the big mistake here is again, you're not using a 3D image of Gibraltar. You're using a 2D, 2D image. While I'm talking, I'll just let it do its thing. You're a very 2D player. I, I noticed that very clearly already, but that's what this rank is, is very 2D. You walk out of spawn and in Gibraltar is all about high ground control. That's what the map is. You walk out the right side on a non-mobility hero and go low ground. Why would you not go left out of spawn door and up the stairs where your mercy is right now? Now your mercy is going to get fragged. She's dead. Not like you could have probably prevented that anyways, but that's where you should be. Look where their Ryan is. Look where their Zari is. They are just like you. They are just like you. Two dimensional low, low ground Larry's. They don't understand what high ground means and why you control it. They don't understand. You don't understand either. The only way that you're going to understand how to play Ryan or any hero on a map where other things are needed to be controlled is by trying them. Try them. Try taking the high ground. Try taking the top right mega room. Try taking ship. Try. Even on Ryan, you can technically make it everywhere. On Ryan, oh god, that sounds annoying. You could go top. Today go through Mega, through the ship, up on here. Oh God, oh God. So up on here, boom, boom, and you took ship. If you wanted to, it's a lot slower. It's why you don't play Rhine on Gibraltar. However, though, it is at least a possibility in your toolkit. What you're doing is being low ground Larry and just walking up there, Rhine. Very much, we walk two Rhines together, boop. We walk two Rhines together, boop. We walk two Rhines together, boop. What do you, my bad. What would you do if they didn't have a Rhine? What would you do? Walk to the cart? So you're gonna walk low ground, all the way to the left, all the way back over here, and then start slowly pushing the cart when their DPS have high ground? In this case, they don't have DPS high ground, they only have one, but that's because they don't understand high ground either. But once you start to play against those Smurfs, those damn dirty Smurfs, those damn dirty Smurfs, who understand what high ground is, then you'll get punished for it. You're gonna play low ground, Larry? Win the duel. Show me what you got. Fearless. Fearless. Let's go. Opportunity missed. This was great. This was great, but opportunity missed. Opportunity missed. 
<clears throat> Let's run him back. You just saw their Zarya use self bubble. Boom. There it is. They already they already projected bubble their Ryan or it's coming up right here. They already did. They already did, right? Opportunity missed. Watch. Opportunity missed. Boom, there it is. Boom, there's a second one. Now you go alpha. And now you're like, oh, f this ride. I'm beating his ass. Boom, boom, boom. They hit anti Shatter. Now, 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 now. Right this second. Now, 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 now. She has no bubbles. There's a Zen and the Nana. Three men. Boom. Easy clap. Clean that fight up. Second point is, is secured. No chance they take it back. It's zero. You will solo kill all three of them. By yourself. By you. You are the difference maker here. You will carry this fight. All by yourself. Your Echo carried first. Now it's your turn to carry second. What do you end up doing though? Let's see. We didn't watch all the way. The opportunity's been missed. The Zarya is too far away now. You can't get both of them with a shatter. Unless they f*** up. She has bubbles back online. Get the two. Zarya frags your mercy. Still win the fight, but do you see the difference? Did you see the difference? You had to use a pulse bomb. You had to use a pulse bomb to kill the two people on the ground. You didn't get three of them, and they almost flipped it back. You end up winning, but that was close. That should have been free. That should have been free. Do you see what I see now, chat? That looks like a good fight. Good job. You won the fight. That's technically, you know, nice job. However, though, you want to get good? You want to get better? You missed it. Because let's say, let's say your tracer doesn't drop that pulse bomb, or let's say she doesn't see it and you don't make it to them in time. That Zarya fragged your mercy. Those supports end up not dying by some chance, or they end up positioning themselves better because the Zarya had self bubble. If the Zarya positioned better with the supports and they stayed behind her and you don't able to hit the shatter, you're in big trouble. You have an opportunity because she used her resources. Capitalize. <clears throat> How is Ryan beneficial on high ground? Great question. Great question. Um, you Reinhardt isn't just like any hero, Winston. Anything that requires, let's say even D.Va. D.Va Diva can shoot, but is D.Va on the top of the map shooting at someone doing more than like one damage a second? Not really, right? Not really. But why do you control the high ground? Why? Well, for multiple reasons. One, it's a great way to gather information. You gather information because you better have a safer, more overview of the battlefield and are able to see what's going on and analyze better. Two. You're denying it their, the high ground from them. High ground is a powerful position because not only can you have gather information better than them, it's easier to defend because if you get trouble on high ground, all you have to do is back up because the way it works. Let me show you something, chat. Time for some MS paint. Let me show you this, chat. If you, let's say, are here and someone else is here okay if you're looking at them right you're looking at them how does this person break LOS from you from you here well if there's a wall here they can go behind the wall that's it if the wall doesn't exist and you back up until you back up to the curvature of the earth, they'll be able to still see you, correct? You have to go behind some type of object. However, the way high ground works, is if they can see you up here, think about what this LOS is. You back up a certain distance. You are now over here. You have broken their LOS. 
They don't have x-ray vision. They can't see through the ground. The ground becomes an extra ability to break LOS and use cover. So if you have a wall up here as well, you have two ways to break their LOS instead of one. So not only do you gather information better, you have better cover because the ground itself becomes cover. Number three is because of the better information gathering, it's actually the same type of effect this way. So let's say you're here. This is you. This is your Ryan in front of you. And he's got his, his big rectangle up, right? And then there's someone on high ground, okay? Someone's on high ground. The further this guy right here moves this way, the more underneath he becomes. So let's see how it looks in action. I don't know how to, is there a bigger eraser? Let's make a new one again. Um, fuck, what was the tool I was using? Was it this one? Nope. Is this one? Nope. I'm on fire! Oh, it was this one. No? It was, okay. If they're up here on the high ground, and the shield goes here, now he has three eyes now. Shield goes here. Okay. He's still protect protected because he can tilt it this way, right? He can tilt it this way. He can tilt it. And then this part obviously moves, right? What about you back here? Unless you're directly underneath, you become exposed. So you'd have to really be under their which doesn't happen that often. So this guy up top, even though you're looking at behind the Rhine, and this guy is eating some glue, and is like, but I'm shielding, the angle doesn't exist, because once he goes a certain distance forward, they can see over it and see you. Now, if they were down here, on the low ground, low ground Larry, and that shield is still up, you can never see through it because it still exists. So you have better information, you have a better LOS, and you have better cover. Does that make sense? Good, moving on. Continuing. <clears throat> Common sense, really? Nope. I see Masters Plus players that don't know how to do that. So do you notice something? Do you notice something right away, chat? I'll, re I'll replay it just so you guys can get an idea. Do you notice something? Here's the big one. No decision making after taking points. Zero. Scared, trying to stay with the cart. Like I said, if I mounted a toilet seat to the front of the cart, you'd be the first person to sit on it. There's no space taking. If you took space here, and you went up to this corner, you have this corner of coverage, right? Wouldn't you still be an LOS of your team? And you deny this corner? So instead of them coming up to this corner, which here they come, here they come to deny this line of sight, right? They're gonna deny this now. You have to fight through this choke up to here, and then win the battle here, in which they'll probably respawn and have another fight here. But if you take this corner, all you have to do is drive them back a little bit and all of a sudden you're here. And then if you win the fight here, they have a, a very, very last second chance to maybe touch with Ball or Tracer or something like that. This has already turned to an absolutely needed two huge fight wins to take this point. Even if you win one good fight, you will not take this anymore because of what your positioning is right now. Isn't it also having face and healers? My man, you don't think your Ana can shoot in a straight line an extra 10 to 15 meters? Because if you don't think so, you play in this game wrong.
like what are you doing right now? You're useless. You are legitimately useless right now. Even even with where you are, if your shield explodes right now, you have no fallback point. You're not holding space. You're not taking space. You're not being aggressive. And if you blow up, you're going to just die. Now, I think you're realizing your mistake. And now you've realized to come to the left side. This is where you should have been from the start. But have you seen what I talked about? You went from having the ability to control this corner and fight here to now they're denying it and you have to fight hard to win this spot and then you're going to have to fight again to win over there. You're fighting hard now and you might not win it because now their team is safe. Look at all their squishy. They're all in safe positions and yours have to risk their ass to fight this corner. All because you didn't make a decision fast enough and didn't try to, to take space, hold space, and have an idea of the awareness and the, the, the situation around you. Now you're in trouble. You, you got the fire strike on the ash? You know it was a good fire strike. So what did you guys use? Echo, Nano. Flats, you are the better Ryan and the Ryan King. Echo and this Nano, that's lucky. It wasn't much. I'm now realizing that I am a really cowardly rain, even if I know that me surviving was more helpful. That's what this is for. Dexter, thanks for the 500 bits, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So, you got to win two full fights now. Tough. I did not give up the fight. Okay, ask yourself, chat. And I'll give you a second. You come out here. What is the path you're taking to engage and to win this fight? What are you doing? Think about it. Now I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. Come out right, hug the door really quick, work your way across the back of the point, the back of the cart, because that begins to provide you LOS. Fight back on the corner, just like you did before. There is an exception. There is an exception. But I don't think you'll see it. Okay, so what do you do? You swing wide left. Come back to right. But but you've lost 1600 shield in, the, in that process. Way hard shielding. Not making a decision. Now you're down to 600. Now, now you are where you were supposed to be with 100 HP less and 1,000 less shield because you didn't make the decision fast enough. Let's see the big shatter, baby. Let's see the big shatter. So if you're going to shatter here, okay. One of the few times I'll give him one of my shatter secrets, okay? Many times people ask for, for what, how do I shatter so often? How do I hit him so often? Realistically, I look for patterns. I look for patterns in people's gameplay. I notice throughout the game, do they swing shield? Do they swing twice then shield? Do they swing, swing, shield, fire strike? Do they do they back off when they're going to, when they start shielding a lot when they have shatter? I look for patterns. But, so I can't, I don't know if I can teach you patterns. But there is one thing I can teach you and it's distance. Distance traveled on Shatter means whether or not it's a harder or easier to block. The closer you are, the harder it is for them to re react. You've seen it happen to me. If I play ultra close and someone pops a Shatter, my reaction time is not fast enough. It just isn't. So I always give a little extra space when I'm playing on the defensive, looking for a Shatter, for them to Shatter. When I'm looking for mine, I'm on the offensive. So what I don't like here is I thought you were going to go for it. I thought you were going to go for it on this corner. Which, by the way, look at your sh they, they know your shield is low. So this, the pathing is a big mistake. What I don't like is it looks like you're going to go for it. And then you back off hard here and go around the other side of the cart. You're giving their run extra space to look to block it. And also taking pressure off. Because a good shatter is one you don't see coming. 
and also you just left your team exposed. That's a different type of problem. Though. So then you panic shatter back. Problem with that though is you made that decision too late. So I've done this before. Sometimes you let your team get shattered. I'm gonna be honest, I do this a lot. Emong memesy for it. What am I looking for? They just projection bubbled, right? You can actually play a Rhine Shatter into your favor. Chat, if you watched me play console the other day, the past couple of days, I did this a lot. When someone hits a big shatter, especially Rhine players, think about yourself for a second. Think about yourself. Your eyes go, whoop, whoop, kills, and you will just like full sprint to go kill them and not think about them having shatter too. So watch what happens in slow motion here. I want you to watch. Boom. He sees two down. Oh my God, free kills. The second I would have seen that shatter come down, look at the angle you have. Let's take a look. You just saw, you just saw a projection bubble come out. If you react on the exact second his shatter hits, we're talking literally right here, watch. You hear that hammer and you go, I gotta block it. Then you realize it's not going for you. I would shatter this right now, immediately. Because look what happens. You shattered right here. The Rhine's a guarantee, the Genji's a guarantee, and maybe these two. That range is a little tough. I don't think you get them. But I guarantee you get the Rhine, you stop them from running over your team, and all of a sudden, you're the hero, not the zero. So let's watch what happens. You panic, because you realize your team's been shattered. You go for the slam. You don't realize that they still have the self bubble. They've used projected, but they haven't used self. You hit somebody, but it doesn't matter because they've already got a kill back. You actually hit two. You actually hit two, but it doesn't matter because your team's in full panic mode right now. Those are little decisions that you have to make that you go, okay, I fucked up. We have to try to make a play. Boom. Let's turn it. 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 But now your fight has ended. Can you explain the pathing for this fight? I've already explained it. I explained it before. I don't want to keep repeating it. I'd rather new information. Not give up the fight. Okay. Hopefully this time... I don't think so. We can get there with more resources. You guys see their Ana? Hello? They're, they're Ana. They're Ana. Also, dude, I hate how this works sometimes. Their Ana is, I'm gonna be honest. I see that Ana do that, I would have been disrespected. I'm launching a fire strike right to this corner and holding W. Because if you get that Ana hit by the fire strike and she's almost one HP, she's gonna play like a literal b But you're playing like a little b now because you're not moving forward. You are now, but it took you too long. It took you only an extra second, but watch. Like I've said hundreds of times, also, how is it still moving? It's paused. What? What? <laughs> Anyways. Um you you kind of lose the battle of inches there. Get a good grab. But you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I think if you play this a little faster, like a tiny bit faster, and now don't get me wrong, I'm being, being real fucking picky here for you, okay? I'm sorry. This is mostly at this point, for this what I'm talking about right now, probably way above your, your pay grade of where you are. This is for the people that are watching that are like masters, because this is, should be good for them too. You need to be quicker. Right when that sleep dart came out, right when that sleep dart came out, I wouldn't have even shielded again. Shielding going to the right, bad pathing. Okay. 
Do we see how the pathing is badly affecting you quite a lot? Ryan does, has a lot of good things in his kit. He has a lot of bad things too. That's why he's not played right now really a high level play. Pathing is huge. There, Ryan is hiding. Okay. Now, if this wasn't obvious, if you see a Ryan come out of a very awkward position, let's say you're not the best with alt tracking, you can see him come out of an alt weird position. Like, was he hiding over there? He 100% has shatter. And he's already made the mental decision that he is going to shatter this fight no matter fucking what. So be on your toes. Let's see how this plays out. They literally didn't save him. And that's how we still know we're in 2490. So you want to sit there sometimes and tell me like, oh, you know, my sports don't help and stuff. Well, clearly there's other bad decisions being made too because that pin was awful. Why not pin left? You mean into their team? The pin location was fine. But they still had bubble, I believe. No, they used it actually. I'm just, I'm literally just shocked that nobody tried to help. I get, they all s just stared at your Winston. You know what? Fuck it, dude. Good job. Good job. I don't know if that was intentional. If it was, good shit. But I'm, I'm not convinced. I think, because we, I, you haven't proven that you're looking for bubbles yet. But, hey. In the future, though. If you saw the bu if you've seen that they used all their resources, that's a good pin then. I thought they hadn't used their resources yet. Okay. So do you see do you see the problem again? Here it is rise it has arisen once again. Do a great job here following up. Boom boom boom. This is where your decision making falls down the toilet. Because you see an ash on high ground and you're just staring at her trying to figure out what to do. Immediately, you have two decisions to make. Do you walk back to cart and make sure your supports don't get picked? Or do you hold that door? Either decision's fine. But this no man's land sh doesn't work. So now you've made the decision to go to the door. Fine. Now, my one problem there... This is very nitpicky. Okay, so don't get mad. It's very nitpicky. You are Reinhardt. You have 1600 shield. 550 HP. There is no reason you are not standing in front of this door right now with at least shield up to body block. Genji would still go through you. But let your game let your team 5v1 the Genji. And you sit there and just be a, a wall. Said so just kind of back off. You waste the pin. Now, now you're in trouble. Because now you get anti. Now you got slapped. You've given them space. Their Ryan came out. They went for the shatter. They might flip this fight. All of a sudden going bad real quick your reaper kills him their genji's still trying to hold on to contest and you end up capping but do you understand that you went oh, 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 oh and your ability to have a chance to to help that fight went out the window it's happened a few times this game in my experience when i play on ladder when that happens when i go when i make something like a, it goes uh oh i fed up and i'm dead I lose that fight 95% of the time because losing a tank in high level play is big, bad, big, bad. Luckily you had had picks and they just didn't play it that great. They're Ryan. They're on. I'll play the fuck out of you. They're on. I'll play the fuck out of you. Their Ryan made a good slam. The Genji boy was okay. The rest of them just didn't play well. Your team popped off, but you didn't have an effect there. So what did we learn? Didn't use the body block. Too slow on the decision. Didn't commit to the decision. Got scared. Tried to look for a pin. Got punished. Okay. Now I've talked about this before. Chad, does anyone have the clip? Does anyone have the clip of when I used to always do this pin? Can someone grab it for me really, really quick? I'd love to have it. So I used to, when I played Ryan on Gibraltar, whenever I've done it, I always go up on high ground here to a left and I set up in here because people love to take this bridge and they don't understand why they take this bridge but they do it and I would pin across wasn't that smart but it was smart 
because I would play the map differently because it would be a three-dimensional type of play. People figured it out after a few weeks that I was doing it. Then again, that's kind of being a streamer. If you have a signature strat, people kind of figure it out really quickly. The traditional 2D way of playing will never work. It will never work once you get to a certain point. It just kind of works where you are now. So, I just I just want you to ask yourself right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you don't do that. I was going to ask you a question. What are you doing here? Like, what is your objective? Like, how do you become useful? Because you're just, you're not really shielding anything. You're just wandering around. And you know what? You can tell. Do you understand that? You know that you're not making it anything good right now. You know for a fact you're not doing anything good right now. You know why? Because you get bored. And you drop. Now holding down here isn't the worst. But you have to hold this corner. Not this one. This is death. Death is coming. You are feeding. 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 Death is coming. That you are feeding. There I missed. Death is coming. You're still feeding because your whole team has to give you all the resources in the world and can't be holding high ground. Your team got still frags though. They still have to dedicate every resource in the world though to you. You your team just got shattered. Death is coming. Death is coming. There, Ryan missed, and you'll hit him with a fire strike, and you'll probably kill him, but still, death is coming. And guess what? Now you have to run. You have to run. You just... Oh, God. Even though you win that fight, you don't. You fed them a ton of alt charge. <laughs> Thank you. And they're going to fuck your ass coming. next fight. They're going to fuck your ass this ne next fight. So, let's talk about the implications of really what happened in that fight. Okay? Is you quote unquote win the fight, but you really don't. Let's talk about what happens. You're down there feeding your brains out. You're dead. So, you had a good high ground control. Okay? You have good high ground control. Your deeps are up on the bridge here. He's fragging. This dude goes and frags the Zen, I think, right? Boom, frag. There's, there's soldiers in your back line. Torb backs him off. Your team, though, has to drop because they're they're losing control of you down there because they're like, oh, my God, I can't watch the high ground and watch the low ground. So death is coming down there. Get your Ana and your Mercy slammed. They both die. <laughs> your Torb and your deep and your Kree are still trying to do God's work. Your Kree has now killed two or three this fight, still at one HP. And is fighting for their goddamn life because you're a feeding Freddy. And guess what? That's not the end of it. That's not the end of it. Uh oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Their Zen has arguably one of the best positions in the game right now. And Soldier's got number two. Uh oh. They've got a crossfire. They've got a crossfire going on you. And it's gonna be bad. Uh-oh. They don't even have their whole team. They might not even need it. Their soldier and their zen might f*** you up by themselves. Now we haven't watched this fight yet. Let's see what happens. Your Genji frags him. Your, your Mercy gets fragged by their zen. You get nanoed. Oh, death is coming. Panic shatter. The best part is you're outplaying the shit of their Rhine. But you're only outplaying their Rhine. Because their Rhine also plays very 2D. 
You know, they honestly could have, they should have won that fight, but they didn't nano to save their Rhyme. Where is their Ana actually? Where is she? That's a great question. Is she dead right now? She is dead. How did she die? Oh, their Zen also gave up high ground. Okay, so they're on a play literally in the middle of their team. If they don't get fragged by your Kree, which by the way, your your Kree is carrying your dumb right now. Absolutely carrying the fuck out of your ass. Actually, yeah, without without a doubt. If your their Ana does not die there, the Winston or the Rhine gets nano, you whiff your shatter. Your Kree's, by the way, killed another one. You're, she's killed two. You're, you're just in trouble. Do you understand right now? Even though you win that fight, you understand that you're not having almost any impact right now. Your impact is you exist and not die. Which is not good. They should have won that fight. Your Kree just fragged. Okay. So let's talk about this really quick. You won that fight. Okay. You won that fight. What gave them such an advantage in that fight? Well, they had server. They had high ground. So you sit on the cart and AFK and pick your nose. And let them take fucking high ground again. Why are you picking your ass right now? Unless their Rhine pins at you and it gives you something to beat on, you don't do anything. Do we understand this? I don't know if this. I, I asked for losses. I wasn't strict on it. So there's a lot of time left. It could end up being a loss. But I hope you understand right now that your impact on the game is very minimal, if not at all right now. If you were playing ball, just sitting on the point, you'd probably be doing about the same. And I don't say that to be mean. I tell it to you so you sit there and you think, when you're not being useful, why are you not being useful? Oh, now we're thinking. I would've went for the fire strike. So, okay. I like that you're here. Now, what do you do with it? Do you go on blue box? This is a good spot too, though. This is decent. As long as your Ana can see you. This is decent. But you're back too far away from the corner. You're giving them too much space. The, th the reason I would be here is for one reason only. To build ult charge. I would be up here fire striking every six seconds on this corner. And then when they push me like this, you back off hard. Because you're about to get flash fan and your ass is about to just get... Death is coming. Did you cheat in that moment? Drop down? Of course. Of course drop down. Why are you trying to run to server? Who's going to help you in server? Who's going to help you in there? Omega? Your Ana's sitting on me and you got a big ass shield. First off, you give too much space here. The only reason you're up here, you're only up here for two reasons. You go up on blue box and pocket your DPS and then drop down, or you're up on this corner looking for fire strikes on this corner to build ult charge. You could get an easy 40% ult charge right from this. Boom, 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 boom. Easy clap. The monkey was there too. You have your ult. Run. You see a McCree. Run. 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 Yeah, you just took too long. Run. You're dead. Timing. Too long. Decision making. Too long. Your team just gets absolutely smoked. Absolutely f smoked. Why? Well, they had a lot of ults, but you could have helped. Reached the checkpoint. 
Really, dude? Why? Come on. I know you're 20, 24 99. Death wasn't coming. Death just ramaged through with a whip and dominated. I know you're 24 99. But we can all see where the card is right now, right? And we can all see you just ate a right click to the f head. There's no way. Look at where the card is. There's a, dude, there could be nobody there. You still wouldn't make it. Death is coming. Death has shown up. And now you're dead. You're not thinking anymore. You're, you've stopped thinking. I don't know if it's tilt. I don't know if it's dying so many times. I don't know if it's because you're feeling useless, but you've stopped thinking. And your Kree and Genji are still fragging. Still fragging. Dude, they took this back by themselves. You guys aren't even here right now. So when we talked about, hey, you there, you watched the rant video, you complained about Smurfs. Does no one complain when the Smurfs are on your team? Because right now, this looks like an L if, if the, your Kree and your Genji aren't popping. Just saying, this looks like a fat hell. Okay, you have Shatter. Again, you just gave them all the space in the world. But now what are you going to do? Now that they've given all the space in the world, how are you going to play it? Bad grav. Oof, that's unlucky. Good fire strike attempt. Oh, baby, what you doing? Oh, baby, what you doing? You are scared. You are so scared right now. You... I could give you have got a little toddler's blanket and you are holding it and going, please don't hurt me. You are so scared right now. You are letting them walk over you. They are they just walked into your territory right here. They just walked in. Just walked in. Okay. Now you could say, but fudge, they have a crew on the high ground. Okay. Honestly, I would have played up there. I would have I would have just had 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 high ground to a better info. What's the worst thing about playing up here? What's the worst that can happen, chat? You played up here, like in the like when, instead of AFKing on the cart, the worst thing that could have happened is their Winston doesn't actually come up here, which gives your Kree free high ground, and then you dropped, and then you dropped, but instead you give them free space. Okay, you give them free space. Now what are you gonna do? You have Shatter, so you end up unfortunately missing the grab, which sucks. Ass. You see their Rhine pinned in Arnia. Chat. The Rhine and the Winston are on my right. The Genji's in front of me. And I saw the supports on the left. They don't have a protection anymore. But instead, you're scared. You back off. Instead of playing aggressive. Instead of seeing Moo Moo, the cow charging Reinhardt, pinned to Narnia, you just watch him go by. Playmaker versus scared maker. That sounded better in my head. Even right there. Even right there. Even right there. You still got a nice one right there. That's two. Guaranteed one, maybe two. Something. You get nanoed. Get dominated because you don't have the space in between your Rhine and their Rhine, so it's impossible for you to react, and you get your f***ing sh pushed in. You are getting alpha And by the way, for you at home, if you're sitting there and like, but Fletz, you're just seeing it hindsight Andy. No, I'm actually seeing it beforehand. I'm just trying to explain everything to you at once. Okay, let's let's talk about this really quick. Let's talk about that one. Do you see the hesitation? 
First off, you should always go high ground here for, for starters. For starters. You're hesitating. That's hesitation. That's not being confident. You don't know what to do. You're just sitting there breaking the bubble. They're literally about to cap. You touch it with 0.7 meters to go. Like, that's lucky. And then their Ryan's just an idiot. It's just, just This is just another gold Ryan who you happen to slam. Okay. But I want you to understand, though, Right in that universe, you shouldn't get away. You shouldn't even get the shutter off. First off, you should have been down his throat already. And if you do get the shutter off, you should have been here sooner. Like it's, it's very, it's like, I hope you're starting to see over time out of all the times I correct it. The reason I say you're, you're missing a few seconds there. You're a little slow, a little slow here, a little too slow here. Over time, all these slow moments, if you put them together, means you're missing like minutes in game. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's actually so unfortunate. Dude, your team, like, okay, so you hit a good shatter. Okay, let's be honest. I'm gonna say that you should have been there sooner and that it shouldn't have even been this close. Because guess what? If you don't f around right here, slamming this bubble, you probably get there at three meters. Instead, it's 0.7. So let's talk about what happens. You get the kill on the Kree. They pop Trank. Your Kree kills three. You also are popping... No, they're popping Blade. They pin you off the cart, which is just enough to take it just enough do you see what i'm talking about it's a game of inches overwatch is just like football in a lot of ways it's a game of inches a game of inches and this is a perfect example of a game of inches because you could have been there at three meters if you didn't fuck around and were like hitting the bubble and didn't know what to do because you're deciding whether or not it's worth touching you just make the decision and be confident that boop wouldn't have mattered because you would have made it back with a meter to spare and it's not hindsight Andy, and I understand it might sound that, but do we understand what I'm saying? Because little stuff like that, over time, adds up. So even though your team ends up having a beautiful hold, it doesn't matter because they see nothing. Okay. So let's talk about this. Backing off is fine is you don't have your full team. But if you were six man strength, I'd tell you to hold close. Did you do that? Now, remember when you were on attack, okay? When you were on attack, they denied you this corner. Will you deny them? The answer is currently yes. Uh-oh. The answer is currently no. You are a feeding Freddy right now. You are a feeding Freddy. You got anti. That's why he died so quick. You got anti. You had shatter here. Honestly, the play here is to break their Winston bubble and look for a slam. That's the play. That's the play for you. But you get so hard focused on trying to kill the other Rhine, which is something we've been talking about this entire time. Is unless their Rhine is there, you don't Thank you. go Death on stayed. anything else. Death stayed, made a family, became daddy. Daddy Death is belting you for bad choices. 
Unless their Rhine is in front of you, you don't understand what to do. You only understand how to thwack on their other Rhine. That's it. Get punished. Hard. Pause for a quick second. Okay. So they actually didn't get much push there. So my question is, how are you going to take this back? Well, your keys to victory are this cart, this pole, the pole to your left, this corner, and this wall. Those are your five keys to victory. Okay. Where you're trying to get to is back to this corner. That's the goal. You want to win that corner back. But you can't take it right away. You have to work your way back. It's a battle of attrition. You're being alpha. You're being hard core alpha. You need it's unfortunate you need a nano to have the confidence to swing back. And even with the nano, you're still getting alpha. You got bubbled there? Or he just missed. How did he not hit that? You got bubbled there. Okay, that's what happened. You are still nanoed and he was just beating your ass. Heisen, if you win, I'm just re-rolling it. I'm not doing one for you, dude. I, I already said if you're 40 above 4,500, you're in the wrong place, dude. Okay, let's be honest with ourselves here. You just got dumpstered on. That's it. There's nothing else to say about it. You got alpha all the way through the duel. You gave all the space in the world. Look what's happening. You're not you're not defending the cart. You're not holding your pillars. And at the last case, you're not holding the wall. You're not using any mat natural cover. You're in the middle of the open. You're a free target. You're getting f***ed on. Can't turn in time to, to, to shield off the high noon. And you kind of get dominated. Again, you're gonna do the same mistake where you just mindlessly push the car on low ground. Not try to make any plays, not try to contest high ground, not try to do anything else. Please part of you high as him. He needs it so desperately. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be mean to him. What's up, Soko? How are you, dude? Okay. So they're just gonna drop on you. And this is, this is, again, this is, you're not trying to fight for anything good. You're not trying to fight for high ground, nothing. Luckily, they're also gold or in low plat. So they just mindlessly drop on you. So instead of trying to use things to your advantage and try to positionally win, it's like this weird honor duel where we must take both Ryans and uh, on point. And, uh, uh, uh. Like, it's, it just doesn't make sense, you know? It doesn't actually end up... And you and you end up getting pushed back hard. You, their Kree flanks. Let's actually see what their Kree does. I think that'll be very interesting to see what their Kree does. So your Winston actually goes up top, but he's alone, so that actually doesn't really do anything. So do you see what I'm talking about by... You can't, you're giving them all the space in the world and you're giving them high ground and you're giving them ability to have better information on you. We did we did the whole MS paint earlier, right? Well, let's talk about it. Their Rhine drops you main. So again, so the, 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 the Rhine duel is now initiated. Both, both Rhines must now clash. And so you walk forward onto their Rhine. Your Winston's trying to figure out what he should do. To be honest with you, your Winston's just as lost as you are. But this Kree has never left. He just, he's free. He's free fire. 
Dude, he's got so, he's got he's so confident you're not gonna do anything to him. Kills your mercy, drops down, kills your Ana, takes Mega, and just sits there. And what the f are you gonna do? You're dead. You're dead. You're just dead. That's free. That is the freest flank ever. And you know what's funny? I don't know if that's a smurf or not. I don't know. But I'm just saying. He could not be a smurf and just be gold with the gold mechanics and gold mechanics will hit, hit those shots. You made that free as could be. Also, I'm not really sure what... The ball needs work. The ball needs work. Because if a Zen is AFK on the cart, just kind of chilling, like, like actually AFK. Like this. Just f light his dumb ass up. Like, like giving him a kiss ain't the, ain't, the, ain't the option. But I don't need to lecture on that. I think you're very well aware that that wasn't good. Let's talk about this. You want to hold low ground. You know what? It's not honestly the worst strat. I have seen teams hold this corner strong. You know who I used to see do this a lot? I used to see Fusions do this a lot on Winston. Fusions used to do a lot on Winston because it was, it was definitely a pocket pick of Boston to hold this corner and buy time. That's what they used to do, I think. Because I used to always see them doing it in ranked. Now, the problem is, is I don't think you'll play this right because you can't give them the corner. Two, one. And now, if you can't give them the corner, to be honest with you, you'd probably better just play down here. Just If you're going to play low ground, just give it up entirely and try to uh, maybe have maybe have your ash set high ground and try to contest a little bit, but not take too many aggressive peaks. But regardless, though, what you're doing is very risky. I, I'm concerned. Thank you. So you decide, your team says, no, get your dumb ass up here. And you're like, okay, fine. And then you're like, just kidding, I'm coming back down, bitch. See, here's the problem already. If you want to hold down there, you, you have to hold that corner. If anything, you did actually a good job right there baiting them. You actually do a pretty good job there, no baiting them, no cap. Now, the problem, the thing you have to remember is you're not going any further than this. Because if you go further than this, death. Death is coming. You should be recharging your resources. You should be charging your resources. Why are you starting this fight at 1100 less than 1000 health? 965 shield health. Why? You're making this harder. There we go. Now you're recharging. Check to see where the TP goes. Now you're confused and you don't understand where you went. Uh, um, okay, we're just gonna watch this one. I don't know what to say about this. Why? Yo, I'm just gonna be honest with you real quick. I don't even know what to say to that one. Don't worry, my friend. Let's, uh, let's talk about this, okay? Let's talk about this. Be constructive, Flats. Don't be a dick. Be constructive. Don't be a dick. Okay. Even if this was a soldier. Why do you sprint out into the middle of the open and try to hunt him? Never mind, it's a bastion. It's a f bastion that just destroys you. Why, why do you run out here? 
Like, like think about what's about to happen. There's a Ryan and a Winston up front. They're dealing with shit. They're anti. They don't, they don't know what's going on. You got the Kree. You got the Zen for the Discord. And whoever that ends up being. It doesn't even matter if it's a Bastion. It could be anyone. Why are you here? Why are you here? Like, I get if you took the TP and you were in trouble, but realize you're in trouble. Once I took, once you take this TP, which you should have checked where it went first, check this TP and you're like, wait a minute. Okay, I'm in trouble. You understand, just so we're on the same page, you can just go up the stairs, shield across here, and then one of three things. Pin across, try to get back and drop and be good with your team before the cart gets there. Two, you come up, go to this window if it's really looking bleak and just pin across. Or like any other option. At least those give you a chance to either A, be a distraction, B, at least be somewhat f***ing useful, and three, not be dead to a bastion at point blank. I mean, sh this is just this is just the feed of the century. I mean, I called you a feed in Freddy earlier, but this is absurd. That that could be a bronze bastion right there. He's still gonna f your ass up. Yeah, of course you can TP back, but let's say it broke. Let's say it broke, you know? There's so many options that could have been chosen there. Like, at least for something, you know? You know, it, it's not guaranteed he would have even made it, because look at how fast they lost. But at least it's something. Like, get them thinking. Get their team to be like, okay, they're up on high ground. What the hell are they doing? Look at it. Instead of like, yep, kill secured. He's dead, you know? Like, at least it's something, like, something to get them to be like, you know, something, something's happening, you know? Because, like, before you come charging out, you, your sim kind of gives you away, and then you, your, your sig's low. Even just, like, pick, like poking your head out here really quick, and then realizing there's a Bastion, a, a Zen, and a Kree, just run your back inside i mean you should have tp back well just run back inside and try to make something else happen think three-dimensionally think ahead think okay even you know even you could have went out the back door if you're still only 2d and go down the back door and then pin across this way like try something right try something you know what the best part of this video is is all of those problems were not mechanical like like 95 percent of those problems are not mechanical those are very fixable game sense, game flow things to learn, right? So you can do it. Not only this person, but if you're someone else watching this, you absolutely can do it. You absolutely can do it. And yeah, I might have just tore this apart. But the reason I tore this apart is so you can see every little detail that you're missing. Okay? Like, think about, you know... Like, think about how, you know, if you had to play, I don't know, a game of like guessing what something was, right? And you only got three questions to guess what it was, as opposed to getting a hundred questions to guessing what it was. You're, if you have a hundred questions, you have more tools to figure out what you're trying to guess. And in this case, it's kind of similar where you'll have much more tools in your kit to try to build a better player out of yourself. So I'm telling you, yeah, it sucks to play against Smurfs. Yeah, it sucks to play against, you know, people that are better than you. But you absolutely can learn and improve, and then you be the one that dominates. Because you had this game in your hand and let it slip through. So, love you guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I know you can do it. I know you can. I know you can.